everyone welcome once again to my Disney dream vlogs as you can see this is a different video by the title of this video you probably already know what it's about it's about fast passes and this was the request that I received from one of you lovely subscribers in my previous video where I talked about uh, my favorite my top five favorite gadgets for Disney World I'll link the video up at the top if you guys want to see it I received a comment by Shell Cat. I'm looking at the comment right now. I hope I pronounced it right. Thank you, by the way, from your for your lovely comment. She asked if I could do a video similar to the to the video that I made on um, how I did my ADRs, my advanced dining reservations, which I'll also link up at the top. That was kind of like a vlog video where I took you with me on how I did my dining reservations. is still quite far away right now I am at the time of the recording it is 158 days but her vacation is coming up she I believe she's taking her vacation around June so I need to do this video kind of quickly for her so that she has enough time and she sees how I do it so I'm not gonna do it exactly I can't show you exactly how I do it but at least you get an idea of how it is that I brainstorm my fast passes so whoever's taking their vacation, I hope you guys find this helpful. So let me start showing you how it is that I brainstorm my fast passes. Pay no attention to this uh, 2017 uh, planner. This is my pre-planner. I also have my actual real planner. As you can see, this is a 2018. This is what I use to pre-plan everything. So yes. Um, after, I am a pen and paper person, but after we all get done with everything I end up transferring my final plans to my drive that way I have it on my phone but I also input all of this information my final plans to my touring plans which I also have a, a video about it if you guys want to see if I believe it's useful um, I'll link it up here if you should pay the subscription to the touring plans I'll link it up there or if you you know what's the difference between the paid subscription or the free subscription it'll all be linked up here at the info cards let's get on to this first thing that I do is write down each park so that's for Magic Kingdom and then Epcot I hope you guys can see that's Epcot and I basically just kind of do that and then Hollywood Studios oh I'm getting out of frame Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom so I just divide the four parts like that once I've done that and obviously I take into consideration my family and I ask them you know what they like what I like and then we go from there after I've divided these, I also have to look at each park and see what attractions are available. And for that, we're going to have to go to the computer. So let's go to my computer. Welcome. Here is my touring plans um, page where I've already made my plans for the Magic Kingdom Day. And basically, I love using terrain plans to get an idea of how to use my fast passes and what, um, where to use them, what attractions to use my fast passes rather than to go to the Disney website and decide there because touring plans and <laughs> no, I'm not being paid or sponsored by them. I wish, <laughs> um, basically touring plans besides helping me, um, decide what attractions I'm going to use. It also gives me an idea of what would be a better way to use my fast passes on. For example, if I scroll down here, you will see here it tells me this would be a good candidate for a fast pass. And I selected these attractions because these are the ones that I want to go on and, and my family wants to go on. We love Splash Mountain, so I know that definitely that is one that we want to use a fast pass on. Peter Pan's flight is also one that they know, like touring plans know that this is one that has a long, long wait. My daughter loves Peter Pan for some reason. And it's a very, very short ride. I know we don't want to wait on that one. 
uh let's see seven dwarfs mind train we know that that one is also popular and has a very long line and we know we don't want to wait on that one and then jungle cruise i don't really want to use a fast pass on that uh i know last time our first trip we saw that there were constantly several fast passes throughout the day available so i know that after you use one fast pass you can immediately like after you use your third fast pass you can um check on the app and add another fast pass so i don't want to use a fast pass on that i'll just you know check throughout the day afterwards we're la used our third fast pass to add another one so what i'm going to do in this case now let's go back to my little planner after looking at touring plans we've determined that for magic kingdom our one of our fast passes that we want to use is for splash mountain seven dwarfs we're gonna abbreviate because that one's long. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Is that how you do it? Well, I don't know what that means. And then the third one, because I don't think this one's tiered. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this one's tiered. Where we run into a problem is with Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios, I believe. Um, but I don't think with Magic Kingdom, we run into the issue of these being tiered. Correct me if I am wrong. Last time I don't remember we were tiered. But let's continue. And if we are, I just have to, um, I have to uh, narrow it down between these. And then if we do run to that, I will pick into these two. Uh, Peter Pan. And we have many favorites and that's a tiered uh, fast pass where you have to either pick Soren or pick um, what's that other one in the car where it goes fast oh my goodness where is my memory well you know what I'm talking about where you have to select you can you, you have different tiers and you can only pick one from each tier uh, Soren or Frozen you cannot pick just the three from the same tier well we don't we don't have so much issue because this time we're gonna be going to Epcot several days but if you have to just pick you're only going one day well then you really have to narrow it down and the way we do it well we go on based on the line that isn't that boring or that has the capacity to take in more people and is not so dragging and slow. For example, the line in Soren is very boring, long, and there's nothing to look at and just, oh, you know. The line in Frozen, it's cuter, you can take pictures and it's, you know, you can pass the time by by taking pictures in what looks like Arendelle or whatever. So that's how we determine it. You have a lot of photo op opportunities there. So that's how we do it. And then Animal Kingdom, the same thing. That's what we're planning to do, especially because there's going to be a lot of new things to see with the new land in Pandora same for hollywood studios i hope you get what i'm trying to say basically that's how we do it and then once we get to the actual selection process in the computer unfortunately i cannot show you because the system on disney will not allow me to select i cannot show you the same way that i showed you in my advanced dining reservation process vlog where i actually showed you like the same way i showed you right now on my screen because i'm more than 60 days in advance so it doesn't let me go past the welcome screen um once i am at my 60 day mark i will try to do the screen shot again as much as I can where it doesn't show any of my private information but basically you have to do the same thing where you just have to have everything what I do recommend is have this in writing have 
your list ready to go. Don't have it, I don't like having it in an electronic form because I, it's always much slower. By the time you reach for your phone, open it up and you know, all of these things can lag, it can freeze up or you know, whatever can go wrong. I always like to depend on my pen and paper because it's here, it's in writing. You don't have to go through screens. It's black and white, it's there. And you scratch it off, whatever. I just think it's more reliable. And it's easier, more organized I feel. And you can just scratch them off. I just feel it's easier to go and rely on this than on a phone or on a screen. And then just have it handy so that when you're going through the screens, selecting your fast passes and marking them off, you just move on to the next. And you don't have to go off, rely on your memory because trust me, when you're doing it, you can get confused. Have your computer ready. I believe for your fast pass, it starts at 7 a.m. Eastern time. Take into consideration the time difference. So if it's 7 a.m. Eastern time and then you, leave, you live in the Midwest in the central time, it's gonna be 6 a.m. If you leave, if you live wet in the California or West, it's gonna be 5 a.m. So take that into consideration and don't do it or don't wake up right at 6 or 5. Do it long in advance. Like when I did my dining reservation, I woke up at least 20 minutes before it was time because I needed to get up, you know, go to the restroom, make my coffee, turn on my computer, get organized, and log in. And if you watch my vlog, you'll see what happened. Um, and then you have to prepare for unexpected things. Go watch my vlog, you'll see what I mean. I said there, there is a tier system and you, you're forced, just know that you are gonna be forced to select from each tier on these other parks. Magic Kingdom, you're not, I believe, unless there's something that has changed. So be prepared to select one from each tier. Um, and by tier, I mean like from the most popular rides. You are obviously not gonna be able to select Frozen and Soarin', um, and you're not gonna be able to select uh, Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey fast passes. You're either gonna select one or the other. You know, have a plan A, plan B. If you can get uh, such and such fast pass, be prepared where, with, okay, if I can't get that one, if that one's not available, what other fast pass do I really want? If I can get it for this time, what other time am I okay with? So in order to be able to do that, you also have to be prepared with your touring plan with, okay, what's my dining reservation looking like? Where am I going to be at around this time? So if, it, unless you're like, whatever, you know, not flying by the seat of your pants, is that a saying? I don't know. But if you're not planning at all and it's just like, yeah, I can do a fast pass whenever, then you're great, you're set to go. But if you have dining reservations, if you have, uh, to be at a certain time, you know, you have to be aware of all of that. So have those things handy so that you know where you're going to be at what time and what time you can do these fast passes because then it'll make everything easier. I hope I made sense. I probably confused you and just rambled on. Um, I'm sorry, I tend to do that, but I hope this gave you somewhat an idea and something that I said, said made sense and helped you some way. If I didn't, I am very sorry. If I did, let me know down below. If there's anything you had questions about, let me know. Also, for those of you that have more time for your vacation, like let's say you're taking your vacation in the fall like I am, stay tuned because hopefully this will all make more sense once you actually see me do it and it'll be an action and you'll see how I do it. It'll make much more sense, I hope. So let me know when you are taking your vacation and if you're taking it around the fall, tell me when. Maybe we'll see each other over there. <laughs> if you're taking it before, also let me know when you're taking it because I love to know what your countdown is. Like I always say, keep Disney dreaming. Bye.